Hello lovely YouTube viewers, my name is Video Dead, and I am going to do a tutorial for beginners for Sony Movie Studio Platinum 12 which is a cheap version of Sony Vegas Pro 12. First off I would like to apologise for the quality of my microphone, I know it is awful. Uh, but I don't usually do commentaries or anything like this. This is the first time I've done this. And if it goes alright, I may well treat myself and anyone who's listening to a better mic. Secondly, I'd like to add, uh, I am no professional. I'm very much an amateur. I just picked this bit of software up with absolutely no idea how to use it. And... I've learnt how to use it just by watching various tutorials and using the, what little common sense I have. Okay then, so here we are in Movie Studio. What exactly are we looking at? Okay, if we mouse around a bit, we'll see our cursor. Changes shape when you get to these little partitions here and this is so you can drag everything about like this. If you lose sight of something, try finding it over the edge there, like that. It might just be there. If you lose sight of anything else, like say for example your preview window, which is this one, I'm just going to get rid of that. So you lose sight of that. I oh know, where is it? We go to view up here. Video preview. You see it's appeared back over there and we can drag it out actually got rid of the master bus there. Let's get our master bus back. There we go. Uh, now what this has done here, this has kind of put these in the same box. This is something that confused me for a little while. And I see I was moving around thinking where is my preview window. And then I look here and here it is sharing the same box as the master bus. Now, what we can do here is we can grab our preview window by these little dots here. This is where we grab things like that and we can move it out and we just clip it up onto there and now it's separate again. Okay, that's just a little something that discombobulated me at first. Uh, okay, so hopefully now it won't discombobulate you. Uh, let's have a look at these little tabs here. These are your sort of main tabs, okay? So project media, that's this section here. This is where you're going to see all your media, your audio and video files, etc. Uh, Explorer, that is just your computer there. Transitions, we won't go into those. We won't go into video effects either. We'd spend an age going through all those media generators. This is where you'll find your text and textures, uh, credit roll, etc. Trimmer you use this to trim your footage up. I guess I never really use it. I just trim all my stuff down here on the timeline. So I'm going to go back to Project Media. I'm going to go and find a bit of media to put in here, so let's go to this little button here. And where am I looking? I'm looking in here. Obviously where you save your footage is your business. This is just where mine is. And I think this is the bit I was going to use. You can right click and play just to Play it in your selected media player before you drop it in here just to see if you've got the right one. I've obviously labelled all of my clips there, given them all the names so I know what I'm going to be looking at when I get it. So let's just open that one and there it is into our project media. Right, just shuffle about here. Yeah, I don't know why I did that, that's probably better there. So let's just grab that and we'll pop it down onto our timeline here. Now, 
on your timeline you will have it, it presets you down three video tracks and three audio tracks these are the two types of track channel rather that you can have um, they're pre-labeled, there's one text, there's one video overlay which I got rid of for some reason and uh, one video, they're all the same, they're just three video, three audio if you want more you right click insert video track right click if you want another one, insert video track put in as many as you like I don't want all of those so I'm going to delete them again right click delete uh, if you want to keep these tracks in here but they're sort of getting in the way a bit when you want to view that like that and it's knocking your main chunk out the bottom you can use this little minimize button here and I'll just squish it down like that so you've still got that there and you can still muck about with this or you can move them about and you the same with your audio just right click insert right click delete as you see fit so now what are we going to be doing that's us right so I've got my got my designated bit of media I need to find the section I want so we click about on our timeline and this window here is going to show whatever is where your line is the bit I want is right at the end of this particular clip so I'm just going to go to the start grab the start of this section so you see the little arrows in the box and just drag it up just to get rid of all that bit at the start that I don't want drag it back down here now if it's we'll zoom in there, mouse wheel to zoom in, mouse wheel zooms in to wherever your line is okay there you go, it zooms into your line if this bit is going laggy, if you're having a hard time seeing what's there, you can adjust the quality of this here, these are your varying qualities of your display window here I'll keep mine on about preview because it's you know, not great quality but you can see what's going on now now another thing you want to do if it's video game footage I don't know if this applies to video camera footage or anything like that I've never done anything other than video games if you want to right click properties disable resample that's sort of what you want to do before you start doing anything if you if you do have a load of clips I'm just using S to split that if you say have a load of clips you've been editing away you've got loads of little slivers down there and then it suddenly occurs to you you haven't disabled your resample instead of right clicking yep and right clicking and going through them all like that you can just click that one hold shift click the last one and that will select those two and everything in between so and then you right click and you go to switches and there you go disable resample because they're already disabled you'll see the little blue square next to it if there's no square that means one or more of these is still on smart or force, I don't know what that is but yeah, and then you just click disable and that switches them all over to disable so that's that I'm just going to get this back to one clip so what I'm going to do is select that one, hold shift select that one right click, delete, get rid of those but now I can just drag that out and there we go, I've got a full clip again ok so uh, we've got a little clip we've just got this little clip of let's just watch this shall we we'll drag this out a bit, I don't want to put it on full screen because Fraps won't record the full screen for some reason 
So that, so that's worthy of a little clip. So, what we're going to do with it? Let's let's fade it in a bit. Let's give it a little two-second fading. What you do? You go top left of your chunk to you see the little arrows in the quarter circle, and you drag in like that. There you go. That's a two-second fading there. What I'm going to do is just click so the line is there. So in a bit, yeah, it's right there and then drag our audio in as well so they're both fading in there you go. spacebar plays by the way spacebar is play and stop and let's fade it out as well give it a little two second fade out just match those up Something I stumbled upon recently is if you go to the little bottom corner of your fader and you right click, it gives you little these. They don't make a lot of difference, but <coughs> if you want to be finicky, uh, yeah, adjust your little fade out pattern there. So right, there we go, we've got a little clip fading in. Fading in. Nice and simple. Uh, let's put a bit of text on it. So I've put text below there. I'm gonna grab this video channel. I'm just gonna move it below my text one there. Just because uh, well that's how I like to do things and also uh, what what is on top on this on this little rack here what is highest will be on top of your video overlay so the text will be on top of the video if it's above it there uh, so let's go to media generators uh, legacy text is a nice simple 2d text generator all these little presets here these can all be made in here these are just templates and things that can be done from scratch. So let's manipulate this about a bit. We don't need to see all those. And I prefer my preview window over there. So I'm going to grab the little dotted bar and shift it about. There we go. So. We can't call this clip sample text, can we? So what we're going to call it, let's call it, I'm going to call it Jet Pop. Okay. Now, we've got some plain white text there. What are we going to do to it? Let's find a different font for a start. I use this one sometimes, I quite like that. That's a nice plain block capital battlefieldy sort of font. That's pretty good, so I'm going to shorten that up. Let's use a mouse wheel to zoom into the line a bit. I'm going to start that just after the start of my clip. I'm going to fade that in as well. So that looks like. Yeah, that'll do. A tiny little bit of fade out. Now, that's a bit plain, so what can we do with that? Let's go to placement. There we go, placement moves it about. Put it. Let's put it top left a bit there. Properties, you can change colour here. If you want it black or white, you just go right to the top of this box or right to the bottom. I'm going to have it white now tracking does that I don't really want to do that though scaling obviously that again I'm not going to mess with that so I'll highlight all those there one enter there we go and leading 
does there, if I quickly go back to here and put those on top like that leading will move it up and down like so but I don't want that I'm just going to have it like that so that's the basics of that yeah, background will just fill in the text background and if there's any video under it it will go over the top of that we're not going to do that effects the last little tab here now this will this will make it look a lot better you can draw an outline on there you can have it Ooh, that's a bit leery and obviously click here change the color click off of that there we go and there Yeah, I'm not going to bother with an outline, but I will do with a little bit of shadow. There we go. And just the the default setting there, 0 0.03 for these offsets. So I'll just show you what they do. Right, now, let's just put it back to 0 0.03 for each one. That looks good enough, I think. There we go. And there's a little clip with a little bit of text. Let's just see what that looks like. Nice and simple. Right, so now your clip is almost ready to go. That's a basic little overview of what you can do. Before I finish, I'll show you what these do because obviously this is the last stage in getting your clip up this is called your loop region so up in this top section here you can you left click and drag along and you create a little loop region like that and that is what you're going to render what is in between those is going to be your final video so make sure you have that set before you go to make movie Click Make Movie, Save to Hard Drive. Now, I won't go into these, there are many other tutorials that will show you what are the best settings to render at. So, I'm just going to select the one I usually use. So, I'm going to go Jet Pop. I'm going to pull that Jet Pop 3 because I've already got two Jet Pops. So, make sure this little box is ticked for render loop region only so that's only going to render what is in between your yellow arrows there there we go and then you just hit render and away you go once it's done you can open folder and have a little look and now I'd just like to say thank you for watching my first attempt at a tutorial um, I hope it has been helpful you know, if you're a total beginner, this sort of thing can look pretty confusing. And, uh, yeah, leave a comment below if you have any questions. Certainly hit that like button, it helps me out loads. Also lets me know that I'm appreciated and isn't that just what we want as human beings. Anyway, thanks, bye bye.